Uh, another beautiful day in Arizona. In the middle of nowhere. With a fly car. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, brother. Just hanging out here. With this fly whip. We're getting a lowrider, bro. It's a lowrider, bro. Yeah, man. Let's check it out. We got a Delray Winchester Custom Lowrider. It's got a lot of miles on it. A lot of miles. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's the heaviest thing I've ever did see. Technically, it's a 1971 Buick Riviera, and we're going to make sure that this is looking sharp. First things first, we got to clean it. We're going to take this thing cruising, bro. Gonna hit the switches. It's gonna be nice. Gotta put some curve feelers around here because the curves are dangerous around here. Curves are dangerous. Especially this ride. Oh, yeah. Mm mm. Mm mm. Well, let's take you off. Let's take you off. Are you? And are you? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I might as well go ahead and take out the interior while we're here. Okay. So let's go ahead and raise me up and everything will be looking a real sharp. Where did I put my oil there? <laughs> Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Same place as always been. All right, let's go ahead and use that equipment. This thing's drier than a fart. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, we've done all of the welding. We have done all of the interior detailing. Now we got to take off the wheels. Everything is a rusted freaking nightmare, bro. It's a little much, but you know what? Just means when we're done, it's going to look the sharpest it's ever looked. Ever looked. Every single thing on this, un on this undercarriage. Can't talk today. Everything is rusted. This thing has like 6% durability, the entire car. I bought it for $6,000. Technically, the what, uh, you know, according to the game, if I were to sell this bad boy right now, I can still make a thousand dollar profit. You know what? I might as well just do that now because there's no way we're going to make a profit off of this. It's probably going to be mine. This is going to be my, my daily driver, you know? This is what I take to work every day. Make sure all the uh, people at the factory see me, hear me, rolling through. Everybody at the office is like, that's a sharp ride. It seems like a... It's a little weird for that guy to be driving that. I mean, it's cool, but weird. Could you imagine if you work at an office? If you work in the IT division for your specific work, and all of a sudden your boss rolled in on a 1971 Buick Riviera lowrider, just talking mad-ish. Gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. You gotta. I didn't make the rules. All right. Okay. Last rubber bushing coming out of the rear cross member. And all this is like 15%. It's so whack. Everything is so trash. This is going to be one of those things where you purchase it for six grand, but you end up spending a hundred K and it's only worth like 20 grand. <laughs> if you're lucky, we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best to try and make sure that doesn't happen. You know, I can't promise anything though. I promise nothing. Okay, pull out game is strong. My pull out game is mad strong, bro. Bro. Uh, this is a big boy engine right here, man. This is going to be gigantic. Gigantic. Uh, V8 OHV. Looking real nice. Uh, crankshaft pulley. Might as well buy a bunch of things I know I'm going to not have. A lot of the stuff I'm not going to know what I need until I need it. Like all these different timing belts and manifold, manifold, manifold. Oil pan, we can still buy an oil pan. Matter of fact, let's get a fuel tank. Really? There you go, get a fuel tank. I've gotten all the rubber bushings and all the inner tie rods and the end links and sway bars. Got it all. This thing is an absolute nightmare. Trying to take this apart. There's nothing to this thing. There's literally a re we have to rebuild the entire engine. Oh my god, there's no crankshaft. There's no crankshaft. Oh my god. There's no bearing caps. There's nothing. Holy Christ. Um, gotta get some rod caps. 
Uh, clutch. I already got the clutch. So at least we can go into our area here. Our tune up. Get a clutch. So fly. Get a flywheel too while we're at it. Boom. Um, Vassel, Sassel, Sassel. We've already got the pistons. We've already got the uh, fuel filters. Fuel pump. We can get that. Uh, Vassels. Oh, goodness. Ignition coil. We already purchased that. We're going to need a distributor cap. Don't quite know which one. Should be kind of okay. I'm not really worried about what the color of this is because we have a livery for this particular ride and it's going to be sweet. I promise you this. So, should be on the up and up. I need a power steering pump V8. It's on it. We're on it. Spark plugs have already been purchased. Lots of good stuff. Lots and lots of good stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's just try to repair anything that we can if we could. I don't think we will, though. It's a problem. It's a real issue at hand. I'm not going to lie. I still got it. Still got it. Boom. I mean, even though we're going to replace this, we're still going to repair it. Why? Because we could get some of the hottest cash for it but the hottest that we can and let me guess our engine block is trash it is trash good good let's just buy a whole let's just make a whole brand new engine from scratch okay all right great wonderful v8 whole brand new one uh, on top of this we're gonna need some brakes just a few let's get four brake pads i think I think the back are not going to be drum brakes. I think that's what's going on. Uh, break. Don't mind me just getting every single thing that I could possibly think of. Valve push rods. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. I probably have to get some of those, too. Gross. Uh, you know, we'll get a radiator fan. V8 OHV. What else we need? What else we need? Vassels. We already have the oil filter. Got a couple belts. Should be all right. Should be all right. Hmm. I'm gonna get an A one of these. We're gonna get a B one of these as well. Get the covers because I had to paint some of this stuff. Just some of it though. Only some. Only some. Okay, so now we're trying to put it all together again. I know I'm going to have to hop back into the paint shop because we're going to be missing some parts because I just don't know which ones will be, uh, be nice for us. First things first, you got to start. You got to start somewhere. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and put the camshaft. Oh, nice. Got the crankshaft, V8. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll turn around. Get underneath this thing so I can install the pistiones. Actually, try. You know, you got to put the effort in. You really got to try. It's really about the effort. Sometimes you just got to give it a go. You never know until you try. Boom, boom. And the last but not least. Well, it is the last one. And the least one. Oil pan. Drop that on there. It's chromed out of our minds. And once this delivery gets popped on, you're really going to have yourself a time. You're just going to be like, oh my God, that's so pretty. So pretty looking. So pretty. That fly flywheel. Clutch plate. Clutch pressure plate. What do you know about pressure? And then the release bearing. All right, let's go ahead and turn this John around here. Huh? Noise. All right. Ignition distributor. Ignition. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's a performance pad. A performance pod. All right. So we got our fuel filter here. It's nice and chromed. Engine. Head. But she gets great helmet. All right. But you, huh? Even though we have chrome going on on the outside, it sometimes it just doesn't match. It's all about the textures. It's going to be fine. We'll figure it out. We're going to need valve push rods, too. Or valve. Yeah. Push rod. Ew. And we're going to need uh, 16? Yeah. 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 Exhaust manifold V8 OHV. Okay. Two of those monsters there. 
Oh, I don't think we need an engine head at all. Or valve push rods. Oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will. Just I can't see it because I painted it all stupid. So now I can't see the outline of where I need to put things that are important. But do not fret because now, since we have those valve push rods, we need rocker arms. Rockers. Well, well not talker arms. Not talker arms. Get 16 of these as well. 16, not 12. There we go. Looking sensational. Spin hot fire. Let's go ahead and put the spark plugs in here a while as well. I'll just get it all, piece it all together. Getting pieced up. Not in that way, but... You know what I'm saying? Look at this chrome manifold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking sharp. Okay. Ignition distributor A. Looking good. And I will need to paint the top. I don't know why I have four of those. Probably because I was unaware. Timing cover. Got a water pump. A pump, 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 pump. Since everything's going to be chromed out anyway, I really don't feel... Oh, I don't have the water pump. The pulley? Hey, let's get this guy. Oh, yeah. Because I painted it. Alternator. Looking nice. I'm not really too concerned. What is that? What is happening? <laughs> water pulley. Water pump pulley. There it is. Nice. All right. Install the mounting. Mount it. Mount up. Power pump steering. Okay, I was going to say, I turned on the flashlight somehow for the first time ever in this video game. Now I don't know how to turn it off. Okay, drop you like it's hot. Because you are. It's sexy. And let's do the same thing over on this side. Okay, here, let's put the distributor cap on here. Blood red. Also, we're going to need clips. Ah, I always forget the clips. Clip B. Remember, clip A's go on the filter uh the filter air filter clip b's go on distributor cap so in case you are looking at like what is a clip what do you mean i what, what do you mean i need a clip what do you mean i, I thought i got two of them fine i'm a moron fine also we're gonna need some tune-up let's get the v8 and there's tons of pages uh, we are looking for coils, just a regular V8 coils. Nice. Or wires, that is. That is. That is. That is the part in question. Let's go ahead and put this manifold up here. And then once we put this up, we'll be able to see what we need to get for the tippy top here. Carburetor, four barrel. Carb, four barrel. Boom. It's already going to be shiny. Shiny and red. Now, round air filter base, round air filter base. Well, we got the, uh, we got this, that's good. That's good. And there we are. Gonna be nice and shiny. Gonna be nice and red. Oh yeah. And then the cover on the tippy top. And we have Wunderbar. Yeah, all I need is the wires. Let me, uh, let me just paint those up real quick. We're gonna make it a dark maroon if we could. All right, super excited, ready to roll, roll, baby. All right, super excited, ready to roll. And shabang -a bang Oh, yeah, that looks pretty. Oh, got our belts. Can't forget the belts. Serpentine. Sing it, Axel. Radiator fan. Because we're a fan of the engine. But now we're all set. Look at you. Look at how pretty you are. Anybody told how pretty you are? You pretty. Take out the stand. And we're going to push it all in. Sensational. Okay. Now I gotta work on the rest of it. <laughs> Ew. Got our front sway bars. We have painted those as well, making it all sharp. I'm not too worried about the things that no one can see. 
No one can see the things. And who cares? What's what's the point of spending the extra hundred dollars or two hundred dollars with the mod that I had to be able to paint everything? You gotta paint everything. You want to change it up. You want to switch it up? Go right ahead. But it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you. Wheel hub cap. Oh yeah, wheel hub cap. Very good. We got our brake pads, calipers that we painted red. Looking sharp. We'll put you down there. We'll get the upper suspension arm. Oh, I still need one. Clutch, clutch. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so front air suspension shock. Shocking money, penny. Very shocking. And of course, it's chromed out of our minds as we're gods. Getting that drive shaft in there. We are everybody. Who watched Lost? Who remembers Lost? Remember the Lost? Diamond Opponent Hands Band? In the show? You don't remember? Fine. Let's go to the rear suspension. Uh, real sus. We're real sus over here. Real suspension B. We're going to need two of these jams. I'll just keep this up because we're probably going to need some more. Uh, but that's our bread and butter, our honey, our wine. Our mead. I miss the show lost. We have to rewatch that. I know the ending was trash. But what isn't these days? What isn't these days? What isn't? What it isn't? What it is? Losing my mind. Uh, rear sway bar. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Looking good. Get those end links. Looking sharp. Wheel hub. Wheel hub three. Where? No. Wheel hub three. Buy that part for the other side. Rear suspension arm. Looking good. Looking real special. And you know what I'm realizing? Oh wait, I was gonna say, where's the fuel tank at? <laughs> like, where, where'd that be? Where's it at, man? Be surprised. Sometimes, uh, mod creators, uh, they forget things. Surprise. Rear suspension arm, looking sharp. Loving it. And over here, your wheel hub. Piece it all together, parse it all together, make sure everything's on the up and up. Boom. Rear drive axle, loving it. Sexy. Real, real sexy. Put you over here now. And then we have to put together the tires or the wheels. Tires, wheels. Same thing, different thing. And let's put on the suspension. Oh, do we have an upper suspension arm? Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Rear suspension arm. Boom. Pop that on here right quick. And then our chromed out shocks. Yeah, because that's going to work. This works totally well. Something tells me that's going to be the worst idea that anyone's ever done. Let's paint it. Let's paint this, uh, the shocks uh, chrome. Don't you think it's going to end up being a problem? Eh, we'll figure it out. If it comes to it, we'll come. Uh, we get, we get, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. That's not the that's not the caliper I wanted. That's the caliper I wanted. The one that I painted. There we go. All right. It is looking uh, pretty sharp. Pretty good. Pretty okay. Probably have to get some of the uh, exhaust here right quick. Uh, exhaust. Let's go back. Like V8 OHV. Two of these Johns. No one need middle mufflers. Upper and middle mu muffler. Middle management. There, middle muffler. Two of those. And what do we have at the ends here? Oh. V8 OHV C. My bad. Nothing like spending money. Okay, we'll pop these on right nice. Middle muffler, shiny as ever. And rear muffler, V8 OHV. Everything is chromed out, gunned out, ready to go and be seen. Well, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Because in our wheel section, we got rim 19, 22 inches. Hmm, 235, 30, 22. They're all the same size. That's good, because I always mess up. 
when they're a little different or a little off. I always find a way to ruin something. So rim 19, 22 inches. Gotcha. All right, just write this down. I'm writing things down. I'm writing things down. Tires. Let's see. We have four tires. The width is 235. Hold on. Profile size is 30. That's 22 inches. There we go. 235 and 30. There we are. 30, 22. Yep. 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 Five parts. Looking nice. And let's go to the Rams. Rim 19. Rim 19. Four of those. 22 inches. And now I have to take these over to the paint shop. And while we're here, let's get the interiors all, 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 all done up and dude it up, ready for a good time. Winchester A. Gonna need a new steering wheel. Uh, what kind of interior do we have currently? Uh, leather seat, leather seat, leather seat, leather seat. Leather the fastest tire installer this side of the Mississippi. Sometimes I screw up though. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay. Oh, you look sharp. You just look so pretty. All right. Still some things to finish up on the center here. In the center, I mean the engine area compartment. Nice. Okay, we got power windshield wiper reserve. We're gonna have to fill that up. Battery, battery, which we had to purchase because we didn't have it. Brake servo, looking sharp. And the fuse box. Oh yeah, fuses. You know, I remember when they uh, when they added the fuse box, and everyone was like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." And then it became annoying. <laughs> it happens. You have good intentions, but sometimes those intentions are a little overzealous. Now, since we are here, let's go ahead and fill her up. And last but not least, fill it up with oil. You know, I wouldn't mind if they had some sort of, uh, just like fuel lines and things like that, because this is actually pretty sparse inside here. Usually most of these engine compartments are pretty, uh, pretty crushed in with all the stuffs. Assemble mode. Uh, hold on. Interior. There we go. So it'll get a little, get a little bit, uh, a little bit cramped in there. The right seat, the left seat. Okay. And now let's see if we can repair any of these parts for the frame, the chassis. Okay. Not a whole lot. Okay, let's assemble this jammer. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh, mirrors, huh? I got your mirror right here. Right here. Right side. Right window. Left arm, right arm. Right on, right on. Put this here. Got the rear window. Got the trunk. The booty, that is. Tail lights. Oh, the tail lights are always a problem. Always a problem. Never ever repair. They're a pain. They never repair. But that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Get the bumper. Get the headlight. And we're going to need two. Two license plates. Whatever. Whatever, my friend. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this car kind of looks a little familiar. Well, you'd be right. Because, well, we gotta get a Nevada. Nevada, Nevada plates. That's right. This is the Count's car. Mm-hmm. We get two of those for $1,700 for some stupid reason. Okay. Right here. What do you mean I don't have the necessary parts? 
Rear, oh, I need a bumper. <laughs> sure, you got me. My bad. For a second there, I thought I was looking real slick. Real slick. There we go. This is technically the Count's car. Mm-hmm. Cruising vehicle. It's going to be sharp. But it's not complete yet because we need to go to normal mode. Move it. First, we got to make sure that it's all correct and aligned. Take it to the test path. Jesus, this thing is all out of whack. I mean, I did find it in a junkyard. And then... This one isn't that bad. Usually it's terrible when... Uh, it's like all the way down to the bottom right. Like, Jesus, what happened to this? It hit a deer. All right, to the paint shop. Yes, this particular item, you can download a certain livery for Count's Customs, Custom Buick Riviera. Let's fly. Let's check it out. For those of you who don't know about the Count, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. There she is. Look how pretty she is. Ooh. All my friends. Oh, the low rider. I just got DMCA. Nice. Mm -mm. Ooh, wee, you pretty. Look at you. My goodness. All right. To the dino, to the dino, to the dino. All right. Let's go ahead and start this test. Now, we're not looking for anything too crazy. We're not racing this bad boy. This is just our cruiser, brother. Double the horsepower. C rating, C rating. Just see your way out of here, bud. See your way out of this situation. Uh, let's see here. Uh, map. And Diesel, why this track? Well, it's got a couple bumps and bruises, and plus I want to see if this thing can go off any sweet jumps. <laughs> and that destroyed the entire car right there. Perfect. Good. Good. I'm not a madman. I am not a madman. Oh, 40 meters. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Do a little J turn. Actually handles pretty well. It actually handles it pretty well. I'm impressed. We've got some sweet ramps. And of course, rolling in the tunnel. Very, very cool. But folks, that is gonna be your episode for today. Let me hop back out of here. We'll return to garage. We'll see what the actual price is going to be looking like in case I want to sell it. But let's not get crazy. We're, we're not selling this bad boy. This thing's a beast. It's so pretty. Turns heads. I'm not a fan of this, though. When it comes to the, uh, the all-you-can-paint mod. When it loads in, it loads in like some weird place. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Now I'm here. All right. Let's check it out. Water for six thousand dollars. Put a bunch of parts in there, a bunch of performance parts, and now the profit. The value is seventy-nine thousand dollars. Six grand, seventy-nine thousand. 
Sell car? No, no, no. You're gonna stay right. You're gonna stay right in my little, uh, my little parking area. Uh, no more spaces. No more spaces. I'm a wealthy. I'm a wealthy businessman. I require spaces. Unlock for seventy-five thousand. I have that all day. I spend that on, on, on ten cars. On, I'm sorry. I, I'll spend that on a car. Can't tell me I can't store my own cars in my own in my own place. My own place of business. I mean, it's not like it's an air conditioned area. No, no, no. I'm looking for parking spaces in some unair conditioned storage unit where I'm going to be storing this. It's so stupid. It makes me want to gag. I hate it. But that's where it is, and that's what we have to deal with. So we have to deal with, but folks, that is going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit the like button, help some of the channel, never so much more you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification, be aware of all the new content. So pretty. Everyone, peace out, I shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again. Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, brother. Next time.